Hey guys, we're back here today with another video, finally. Um, we're just fishing down south here on this reefy structure. And today we're gonna be using hard bodies. So what I've got tied on is a cranker minnow. And that color is just so real. It's, uh, I don't know what color it's called, but I like lures with that little bit of red under the gills. And that just imitates a sort of uh, bait fish in distress. Because when fish are in distress, they usually flare their gills. So hopefully that's something some of you didn't know. So that now you'll aim for lures with that red gill flare. And it's nice and shiny as well. So it just looks like a scaly fish. And we're just gonna be working the edge, twitching this hard body. Like so. Now this lure is a shallow diving minnow because the bib's only really small. So I'm keeping the rod tip as low as possible and giving it the twitches it needs to sort of dive down a little bit deeper. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Oh. Oh, just got wet there. But there's a little brim there. First fish of the day. And that was on third cast too. So just a little fella, but he slammed that hard body. There we go. Just on the back treble. Let's get the hooks out. Hopefully I don't hook myself. There we go, just a little brim. See you later. Doing the damage. Not sure if you can see how it swims but it just looks like a little bait fish. So realistic. Let's get it back out there and hopefully we can get another one. Now this wind's not helping very much. It's a, bit, a little bit harder to cast these smaller lightweight lures like this hard body, but we're doing the job because it's a nice easterly wind, so we'll be casting with the wind most of the time anyways. Hopefully I don't get drenched out here by a big wave. It's really shallow here. No more than 80 centimeters deep. Yep, there's another fish. This one doesn't feel too big, but it's another broom, I reckon. There we have it. Another lovely little broom. Just twitching the hard bodies on against the rocks. Sometimes I can actually feel the hard body hitting the rocks, so it's right in amongst their feeding zone. Look at how realistic that is, I can't get over it. Crank has done a great job. And little brim. Always catching the leaf's brim. There you go. You. Let's get it back out there. See if we can get another one. Oh, 
I'm gonna try and get a cast out a little bit wider. Yep, there we go. Hooked up. I don't know what it is. Doesn't feel like a brim. Oh, it's a little red mullet. <laughs> the bycatches never stop coming. Such a blue, blue looking fish. Cavi from Morning Tide Fishing caught one of these and it was a beast. This one's only a little tucker, but same colouring, same species. They call them goatfish, red mullet. But he's a nice looking fish. Apparently they're great eating as well. This guy's going to be a survivor and he's going to go back. If you look underneath there, those yellow things are his little whiskers. He goes along the bottom and uses them to find food. Oh, see every time I touch those whiskers, he has a little panic attack because uh, he can sense, he can actually taste my fingers, I reckon. All right, hooks are out. Off he goes. All right, that was species number two. Let's see if we can get maybe a salmon trout, a tommy or a snook maybe. We'll see. You never know what you're gonna get out here. Yep, there's one. He's a jumper too. A lot of these brim like jumping in shallow water. It's because they've got nowhere else to swim. <laughs> Just another little guy. I know they're bigger ones out here, but it's just a matter of trying to catch them. There's another one. That was in the exact same spot as that second one. Oh, sorry, the last one that we caught. A little bit bigger, but he's also sort of hooked sideways. Once again, he slammed that and he's absolutely engulfed that back treble. So that's definitely a plier job. I'm looking up just in case there's any big sets coming through because I don't want to get wet. Oh, quick release. There's a big set coming through. That sh should sort of fade out before it gets to me though. Let's get another cast out there. See if we can get a Third brim in the same spot. Yep. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish, guys. I saw him leap out the water once again. It's because it's so shallow, they've got nowhere to swim other than up. But he's not fighting too much, but I can definitely feel the weight. Oh, pulled hooks. Didn't even get to properly see him. Bugger. Well, oh, one of the back trebles actually snapped. Man, that's a shame. Totally new lure as well. 
and the other three are a little bit bent out so I'm just gonna re-bend them bugger that cost me a, a nice nicer fish Just lost my cranker lure. All right, guys, so I lost that cranker lure, but I switched to a Z Man 2 inch grub in motor oil color. So I'm going to flick that around the reefs as well. This time it will be on the bottom. So I could get snagged some more, but it might increase my chances of catching more fish. Who knows? We'll give it a shot. Oh, look at that. A little salmon metal lure. That's about 15 gram. That's cool. Goes to show that people are casting out here on high tide for salmon or Tommies. But cool, I'm keeping that one. We might find a few more as well, I reckon. Because the tide's pretty low now. Well guys, we've been casting for a fair while and haven't had much luck so I reckon I'm going to call it for today's video we uh, scored a new lure and we got about oh, four brim or so nothing of size but I, I did lose one that was a, a little bit bigger I reckon over 30 centimeters but that's fishing so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, we we're using that cranker minnow which I lost so that's $24 down the drain but like I said, that's fishing. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in the next video, guys. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching.